the next thing that we want to do over here is when we click on this particular date of birth field we want to open a date picker so the user can select a date all right so let us create a date picker over here so for that i'll just go over here and create a new function which will be of a future and this will be a return type which of the void because it's not going to return anything so i'll just call give a name pick date of uh, birth or something you can call it and this will be type of the async because it's a uh, uh, future right and then i need a build context over here and that should be of a context itself and i will need a final uh, we will create an initial date that will be of equals to date time right so date time not the year so it's your date time that now so we want to get a current now our current date and once we have a current date we will also create another variable which will be of our new date and that will be of our we will create of it and get it from the uh, let's create a so and um, date picker right so so date picker is the one that we need and it takes a context it takes a context and it will take an initial date that is the initial date that we have first date and the last date that we have to pass so the first date is the date that uh, that we are going backward right so it may be a 1990 or uh, 1985 so something like the, the first date so how many the first date how many years you want to go back right so let's let's create that one so date and time and in the constructor we will pass the date time date time dot uh, now sorry date time that now and this will give us a current date right and then i should pass the dot year so this will give us a current year and i can minus it with something like uh, 100 year so that will go back to the 100 years before so it will go back it current is 2022 and it will minus the 100 and it will go back right so when you minus to 2022 it should be um it should be around something like you will get around 19 um 19 uh, 1922 something right so 1922 so that is the one that we are getting and the last date um uh, the 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 last date that you want so we will need to go forward right so last day so i'll just say a date time over here and a date time and i think just date time and in the constructor we'll pass the date time again dot the now right so we need to pass the now and then uh, we will get the year so date time now and it should be of a dot the uh, year that we are getting and then we will minus it with the uh, sorry we need to plus it with the one so that will give us the one more year date over here and uh, then once we have that one what we need to do is we need to pass the build over here build function and the builder and that will take the context that we have and context and the second parameter will take the child something child child right and then i need to pass it come over here and the context and the child so if you see this builder it's going to take a build context and the widget so the widget we are calling as a child right and uh, that should be of a we, we need to return something from here so what we will return is uh we will return the um let's give a theme and inside this theme we will put some let me set it as a data over here and let me scroll it down a bit here we need to pass the the required data so this is required data as well as the child that we have to pass so the data we have to pass the theme data that we have 
and this theme data we can just copy with we will call the copy with function over here and we will pass some of the color so this is basically if you want to customize the color and other stuff for that particular date time picker otherwise we can just skip this one and then on the child we have uh, after this we have a child right and on the child we need to pass the same child that we are getting from here right so i've just called this child over here and if it is null then just create the constant and just give it as a text and i will just give it as an empty text over here and that should be fine and uh, then we will just pass some uh, color schemas over here color c o color schema over here and, and then we will pass the sorry, const and of the color schemas and that should be of i think i don't need to pass all of this color schemas and, and then we will just um thought the we want a light or you want a dark so i'll just use of a light color over here and you can just create a primary color and just set some colors over here so i can just say a uh, primary color which will be of a colors dot i will just call it as a pink and uh, that should give me a pink color right and then on uh, on the primary that we have i think on primary that should be of a primary color so colors dot the white so you can basically customize the color that you want over here on surface we have right on surface then we can just say colors dot the black or something so you can have this one and uh, then also we have another option over here which is from the uh, dialogue background color so this is basically a dialogue so what color that you want to set colors dot i can set set it as a white background and that should be basically fine and uh, then just go and i have to set something over here so what we want to do is uh, we want to just close this one first of all and here we want to set that if the we'll make use of issue condition if the new new that that we are setting is of equals to equals to null uh, what we want to do is we want to return right so we want to return and we don't want to do anything right just return it if the new date is of null then just return it otherwise we can just go and set the um, set state and set the um, we need to set the value for that particular the controller right that we have so here we will set up the um, underscore that we have underscore the data but controller dot the text that we have which we can set it of equals to the new um, new date that we have right so the new date and it is giving me an error what is the error so the value of the data can't be assigned to the variable type to a string so i need to pass it to string or i will just pass it as a string of uh, two iso hs six uh, one string so that should convert the uh, this particular date and time to the string format and iso readable format and uh, i think that should be fine and now we need to call this particular function uh, from here so currently we are calling it from here so i think that should be a bit uh, difficult for now so i think i'll just copy this whole thing for data but and uh, later we will actually go and uh, utilize that one so currently i will just go and paste it over here for this one i need to remove the written type and uh, this one i will just go and set it over here and uh, that should be fine so i need a controller that should be of a date and time controller right so label i'll just give as a just mm, so set it as a date sorry <laughs> it should be um 
date of birth right so date of date of birth and that should be of the i think const i think we need to pass and i can remove this one so that should be fine right so and here i also need to set it as uh, date of birth right so date of birth can cannot be empty so that should be fine and uh, now what we can do is uh, we need to set that whenever we click on this one we need to call a certain function over here right so how do we call that one is there is uh, actually um, there is actually a uh, one function that we can attach to the our text uh, editing uh, text edit uh, text form field right so here we will just go and call the on tab and this on tab we can just call that particular function from here so i can just say pick date of birth and just pass that context and now i can just restart my application and if i go over here and when i tap it i should get that date select uh, pick a uh, date and date dialog box over here right so if i select particular date and click on ok you can see we get that particular date over there so if i see here on the date you can see it will go back to up to 100 years right so 1922 and it will get a uh, forward to up to 2023 so that is because we have set up over here um the date of minus 100 and the plus 100 over here so that should be fine i think i hope you uh, got it what i'm actually trying to do over here and the next thing is that we have to reformat this code again so let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day